what's up guys we are here at another public auction you know the car has been going pretty cheap so let's see uh what they got up here so i guess we'll uh we'll start in the back with this one see this little chrysler chrysler sebring has 148,000 miles pretty clean in here pretty decent nothing too nothing too out of the ordinary smells fairly decent you guys know i'm a big big guy on when it comes to smells and whatnot but this one is pretty pretty fair this will be a simple fix i mean simple fix this will be an easy buy easy flip let's see they have a, a Pontiac G6 right here. My buddy literally just won these in LA clean as heck for 300 bucks. And this one doesn't even have a door handle for us to open it up. It looks like that uh that airbag's been replaced. The tires need to be replaced as well. These rims are like really ugly. Oh my God. This back seat is horrible. You guys see this thing? This thing is horrible in here. Super dirty, all the above. They have a nice Ford Focus. Um, by nice, I mean no like crazy body damage. Okay, we got some power in here. Got a little radio. Interior is fairly decent. It does smell really good in here. This window doesn't work. This door doesn't open, I don't believe. No body damage there. Oh, it's almost fell. Y'all seen that? <laughs> no body damage on this one. So this one might be a pretty cheap, easy buy. You can get it for like 200 bucks or so. They got like this Nissan Altima. I don't know. This is junk too, guys. I'm going through all the junk really quick. Because the good cars, it's a bunch of people over there looking at them. So we're just going to come back to those. But this Altima seems pretty fair. And the inside, I know it's something wrong with it. It just looks like it's something wrong with it. Got a little baby dent right there. Uh, you don't have all four matching wheels. Yeah, maybe that extra wheel is in the back. This one, this little Audi doesn't run. Um, I don't believe that Trailblazer runs, does it? Oh, dang. This whole, uh, I guess this is like death recovery or something. I'm sure this thing doesn't start. They got a 300C here as well. This thing is freaking i don't know guys these dodges is like the older dodges it's like really weak to me i don't really like them at all to be honest this one got transmission issues but if you just check out up there i mean it's a it's a it's a 300 c but it doesn't run so it's not really worth uh my efforts another non-running car i got two non-running cars so you can probably buy both of these and make one running car but monte carlos just aren't that good of a buy guys oh, look at my baby looking real nice out there but yeah let's get to some of the good cars this little uh toyota looked like maybe a celica or something got a little woo wham right there yeah old interior i don't know if this is like 86 this thing gotta be super old. Yeah, Toyota Tercel. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is like way before I was born, so I didn't even know what this thing was. But I mean, it's pretty clean compared to the newer vehicles. Pretty clean. They got, you guys remember that Chevy Cobalt we seen uh, at the other auction? This is pretty much the same exact car, just a Pontiac version. Um, and this one is called like a G, I forget. But this one would be a good buy too. 
nothing wrong with this one the interior is fair um, and keep in mind guys this is a coupe a lot of people don't really want to buy coupes nowadays i mean a lot of people do but then again a lot of people don't and this is the g5 we'll get the mileage for you in a sec but it does look really decent this is number 40 has 148,000 miles Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> I didn't see you right there. You got a, a Chevy Venture. Got some, you got some rust at the bottom. You got a little tequila kick right there in that door. You got leather interior, leather and cloth interior. This is a pretty clean Chevy truck. You got third row going all the way to the back. You got the little TV right here. We can see if this van, if this door opens. Okay, yeah. So that dent really doesn't affect the door at all. It opens right up, no issues. You got your TV media center back for the kids and all that. I may need this. Uh, definitely may need a minivan or a truck or something. I don't know yet, guys, but yeah, that's that. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. We got this uh, Nissan Altima here, rebuilt title, 187,000 miles. This bumper is kind of, kind of woo whammed in the front. Gonna need a new bumper. Okay, this airbag was switched out, of course, because of the rebuilt title. I'm sure this car drives pretty decent. Um, however, I wouldn't pay no more than like 100 bucks for this thing, if that. This thing might even go for like 50 bucks up here. I'm not even, I'm not even fronting. You're gonna need uh, all the wheels on here. It's like Mitch Mac. I didn't even see this string you have hanging on the van. Don't know what that is, but yeah. Two thousand Volkswagen Jetta with two hundred and twenty thousand miles on it. <laughs> it does look pretty fair. This is like the one from Fast and the Furious, the one that Jesse was driving. You guys see, it does look fairly good in here. The seats are pretty decent. The back is, I mean, it's nothing that stands out in here that tells me this would be a bad car. So in my mind, I'm thinking this is a pretty decent buy right here. Uh, Got to reconfirm the mileage. Kind of looked at it quick, but you guys see the Jetta. And Volkswagen, they uh, they hold up with the mileage. They're pretty good, regardless of uh, you know how old they are. Sometimes, if they're well kept, but this thing is pretty decent. They got this Chevy Tahoe right here. It's actually kind of leaning. It's actually kind of leaning to the front over here. So let's check this wheel out first. Oh, that's why. Tires flat. Nothing too crazy. I thought it was a suspension or something like that you got some some blood on the door i'm not touching that door but you got some blood on the door there looks they were trying to looks like they were trying to steal this thing the key column is like broke kind of you see in the back nothing too crazy back here this is the tahoe ls got door panels and stuff up back there nothing really too crazy about the truck i'm sure this thing will sell for like Maybe like 350 bucks, $400. Which is not bad at all for the truck because you can get at least a thousand to like 1500 for this thing just like it is. You guys remember I sold mine with the blown motor for 800 bucks. So this one, I think it's running. So you can at least get a band of 1500 off of it. They got this Ford Explorer. We seen, this is actually the two door. We seen the four door yesterday. Damn. Oh, that door is locked. I gotta go all the way around. We got the Isuzu pickup truck. That's a little daddy. This thing is a... Uh... I know the uh, gardeners are love this truck. is stick shift. I need to buy this thing and practice my stick shifting, but this thing is pretty, uh, pretty clean on the inside. It has this little bed, uh... A little top cover on it. Pretty decent truck. 
Look at this Nissan Marengo. Let's see what's up with this thing. Because this will probably be one of the best cars up here too. So, I don't know if this dash is supposed to light up like that. Like really bright orange. But I mean, it was a smoker in here. It's got the little media center right there. This is a smoker car. It smells like nothing but cigarettes in this joint. It smells just like a casino. Uh, all the doors are locked. But yeah, guys, you guys see the inside of this thing. Looks really good. How many miles? Um, it has 150. Wow, this thing has 115,000 miles. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the better ones here. If we can get this thing today, man. That'll be freaking great. You guys, remember they sold one of these with like 50,000 miles for like two grand a couple weeks ago. And these things are like freaking trash, bro. Like straight, straight trash. But I mean, if you really just need a car to get from point A to point B, I'm sure this might be a decent car for you. See, I don't know why all these doors are locked. But if you just walk around it really quick, <laughs> somebody got a ski mask. They're trying to rob something. But yeah, this one, uh, it's fairly, it's in good condition. So, I mean, if you can get it for a good price, I wouldn't mind bidding on it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. They got this Toyota Camry right here. It's kind of whammed. Paint is kind of faded. I'm sure this may be a rebuilt title. But, I mean, the inside is really small and real first car 16 inch you know and the window is, the window is busted on that one but you're gonna need a little door handle there two door handles for the back window for the front i think this uh oh look at all this bondo right here yeah you don't you don't want this at all this thing is bondoed up i think it's super bondo you're gonna need a little back window for that so yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. I got another Acura truck. You guys remember this one? Uh, they sold one of these last night for 300 bucks. And we literally could have bought that and fixed this one. Yeah. And had this thing freaking ready to go. I don't know if this one has that third row back there, but it does. I think this is the, the top of the line one because it does have the little media interface right there airbag is blown out which is not a big deal oh wait your steering wheel i mean your steering wheel your freaking seat belts is locked up so i wouldn't mess with it personally but you guys see it four by four it looks like it's been painted over in the back so this car actually might have a little bit more done to it than it looks like But I mean, it's do it does have the leather seats and stuff, all black leather. Oh, and it does have the third row too. So, they have this Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, I don't know the mileage, but it's got all, it's got rims on it, all four match. All four has good tires. Let's see. Oh, I never been in the inside of one of these. I like how this uh, center thing is. It reminds me kind of, of the Maybach, but you know, far from that. But it has the sunroof, all black leather. Does look really good in here. Looks really clean. Third row, does have the third row. But I mean, these trucks, they don't really resell for a good price. So I mean, I really wouldn't put all my money into one of these, but uh, for a good price, if you can do it, it'll be a good buy because it's pretty clean in, in the inside. and. A lot of people appreciate the rims, but they do stick out a little bit as if they were on spacers. So, I don't know. Maybe your thing. Not mine, though. They got a uh, Chevy Malibu here with 210,000 miles. Fairly decent, fairly decent. Uh, really dirty. Not really dirty, but semi-dirty in the inside. Let's open this thing up. Really uh, just normal wear and tear for a 200,000 mile car. A couple little burn marks in the seats, nothing too crazy. A couple burn marks in this seat. Um, I don't know if that window is broken or not. Uh, back seat looks fairly good. You got a bunch of wires down there. Don't know where that might be coming from. So 
something to keep into consideration right there. But I mean, all around, this thing looks fairly good. It's the LT body, uh, I don't know, because it's got some, it's got some kinks. Yeah, this one, this thing has been bondoed up before. So yeah, we're actually gonna pass on this one. Yeah, we don't want nothing that had bondo and stuff already, so that's a no-go for us. They got this Cadillac CTS, the one from yesterday, that matte black one sold for 575 bucks. This one has the all black leather interior with a uh, media interface, TV dash or whatever. Um, black leather seats. Looks fairly decent. You're missing an armrest. Um, nothing in here that really stands out to me that tells me this is a bad car just yet. A few little panels missing down there. Nothing too crazy. You got a little woo wham kick right here. But all in all, I mean, it's pretty fair. Pretty fair, at least you got all four of the same rims look like. At least they kind of look the same. I, they might be actually different. And this thing has 205,000 miles, so I don't know. Me personally, I would pass on it because of the mileage, but it's a decent car. A Zuzu Truck Trooper. This is like one of them cars you be seeing up in Africa and, and all that stuff. They be riding the heck out these trucks out there. Ooh, I burned my leg on that thing, boy. Y'all see that interior? Nothing too crazy in here. I mean, it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. However, these trucks aren't popular at all. So, um, would it sell for much or would it resell for much? Don't think so. But, I mean, if you lift it up, put it on some badass fucking lifted truck tires, I think you might have something going there. This thing has been sitting for a while. These tires are like dry rotted. But um, yeah, don't want it, so I'm gonna keep moving. It actually got the four door Ford Explorer or whatever. That one, the door handle is broken. Tan interior, you guys remember what I said about tan interior? Stay away from it, it's so hot. Especially in Vegas, it's too hot for that. Too hot for comfort. Another broken handle right there. Um, nothing back there. It's a regular looking truck, guys. It's like the doors, all the handles on the doors are like broken. So how you're going to get in there, I don't know. They have this Mazda, this Mazda 3 with 152,000 miles. This will probably be a good buy right here too. You know, Mazdas run pretty good and they run for a decent long time. Oh, they have the pharmacy logo. I haven't seen a pharmacy sticker since I stayed in uh, the IE. And they have pharmacy board shop in Fontana. But yeah, this Mazda 3 is really good, really clean looking. I think this might be your best bet here, even with the, uh, the radio missing. I think this might be your best bet here. Because if you clean this thing up, let's just check out the back. It does have the uh, see-through lights in the back, so you know it looks like makes it lot makes it look a lot newer. They have this blue little vinyl wrap on it. We can take all that off. But yeah, this thing is pretty nice, guys. I actually want to bid on this thing. I think I want to bid on that one out of everything I see here so far. Oh, uh, they have a Chevy Cobalt. Remember, I sold this thing. I bought it for like a thousand and uh, I sold it the same day for like 1500 literally didn't do nothing to it but wash it but damn these seats has been sat in dude you don't want this one this thing has been all over the world look at that freaking mess it's disgusting like I can't even do that's ridiculous this thing is so dirty I don't even want to breathe in that air that's just dirty as fuck on me on me now you see see the pipes you got some water and stuff right there so i wouldn't be surprised if that motor is going bad but all in all no kinks in the body so you're good there they have this dodge uh dakota i believe it is Oops. they have this dodge dakota pretty decent in the inside got a little baby back seat back there not really a um not really too much space, but it does look decent in the inside. I believe this will be a, a decent car as well. 
It's got the clean bed. Might have been like a, a Japanese or Chinese person with this car. They got the little uh, Chinese dragon back there. But yeah, this is a decent truck right here. I honestly think I might bid on that one too. That thing is pretty decent. They have this Nissan Altima. Uh, this one is has 182,000 miles. It is a 2004. Nothing really crazy on the outside. Gonna need some air in that back tire. Oh, and it's stick shift. This is like one of the first uh, Altima, Nissan Altimas of this body style. Uh, Cause you see the steering was a lot different from the other ones, but it is thick shift. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. You know, it's a 04, so I'd expect it to be kind of jacked. But I mean, somebody will buy it. Fucking get it for under like 300 bucks and put it up for a band. Somebody will come buy it fast. You're gonna need a little window right there, but that's all I really see. A little whoop mirror. I mean. We got this Nissan. Uh, we got this Nissan Sentra with 186,000 miles. Now this one honestly might be a great one too. Let's check this out. The inside does look fairly good. It is dirty over there. It looked like they tried to clean it up a little bit. Um, but guys, this one actually may be a really good buy as well. You guys know the mileage on these things really don't matter because as long as you take care of them, oil change, make sure you got radiator fluid and stuff, you're pretty much winning. So yeah, this one looks like it's a pretty good buy. You're gonna need a little side mirror over here. You got a little tequila kick down there, nothing too crazy. I don't know if this wheel is messed up or not. I don't know if that wheel is messed up or not, but you got a little dent right there. Little dent right there. Okay, both wheels are turned, so that's kind of a good sign. Kind of a good sign. The motor looks really good under here. So this might be a decent buy. Alrighty, they have a 2013 Charger with 144,000 miles. Does have some damage up front. Nothing too crazy. It has a little woo wham kick over here. This wheel, uh, nothing too crazy. It looked like it got hit right here. This is gonna be an easy fix. Easy fix. I'm curious to see what this charger will go for. 144,000 miles. All four wheels are different. Um, the inside, of course, you know, I could have guessed it is like just super dirty in here. Super dirty. So that made me, that may be good for me because if I can get it at a good price, I'm gonna buy it. Don't even care does smell kind of funky in here but man it's a 2013 charger so i know i can sell it pretty easily and for a really good price so we'll keep checking this thing out let's just scroll around the back real quick nothing too crazy right there nothing too nice you got, got all four different wheels but yeah and this is like vinyl wrap you got a Chevy, I believe this is like a Chevy Sonic or something. How many miles this one got? 54,000 miles on this Chevy Sonic. So this is basically a brand new car. I don't even know why they didn't go pick this joint up. It looks really clean in here. You got the uh, little TV media center or whatever. No damage. That window over there looks broken possibly. Nothing crazy in the back. Looks really good in here. 54,000 miles it better be and this is the sonic lt so you got some space back there this is a pretty decent car too i think i really want to bid on it's a lot of cars up here today guys that we're going to bid on so don't be surprised if we come out with something decent really decent looking they have a uh 2011 ford fusion with 152,000 miles looks really good for 152,000 it is a hybrid uh, maybe the trunk is not lining up I don't know but you got like some gapage right there so I don't know if it was hit or what but in the inside it does look really good in here you got all 
gray leather interior smells really good got that little tv media center right there the back looks really really good really really good in this car for 152,000 miles got the sunroof i didn't even peep that and i honestly think this one was repainted but it does look really good it is really clean and I think this one might go for a good price as well. We have a 2009 Lincoln MKS with uh, 79,000 miles. And this one will be one of the better buys as well because you can honestly Toro this thing out and freaking make your money back pretty fast. Look at this inside. It really looks luxury in here. Oh my God, this thing smells so good. That's crazy. If I can describe this smell to you guys, it smells like, oh, boom, right there. I was about to say that, that's funny. It smells like a purple now later. <laughs> On me it does. 79,000 miles. Looks like it's not really no damage. The inside is flawless. Them doors is like freaking presidential doors. They're really huge. It looks like uh, this bumper got resprayed. Yeah, this bumper definitely got resprayed. Um, nothing too crazy on the outside it does look really good guys this is probably one of the best buys up here today um besides that chevy sonic right there but yeah this is a good a good little buy we got a 2010 honda accord with 150,000 miles looks fairly decent has a couple scratches along the side nothing too crazy the inside is dirty. I'm sure you guys could have guessed that. 150,000 miles on the dash. It's a Honda, so you know it's still running pretty good. The inside does look fairly decent, though, if you ask me. Uh, it could use a really great detail. It's like over there, you got like dirt in the seats and stuff. You got dirt on the back. See, that's why I hate tan cars and tan leather, all that stuff. I hate tan. But it's a pretty good looking Honda, if you ask me pretty good let's check out this side that's kind of close but you know nothing too crazy that stands out wow you got a 2008 Chevy Impala with 4,400 miles wow I don't believe this thing really has 4,400 miles but you got some uh you got some action right there on the top hand uh pretty pretty decent in the inside uh tan leather so you know it's hot as heck but it's clean i'm sure they had this on their hands for a while just saving it up and cleaned the heck out of it so yeah i mean it's decent definitely look like they're trying to hide something here but you know it is what it is oh uh, you can put e85 in here too that's nice pretty decent car though y'all pretty decent car Alrighty guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, man. You came and checked out some rides with me, so stay tuned for the next video where we're actually gonna see what these cars go for. Be sure to check out my last video in the link below. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, be easy. Peace.